Okay, so that ended up taking so long, I'm not gonna be able to work on the bed and doing a rep session because I am all about play. The dog needs it and I need it. So there, you guys uh, saw the old go get. Um, never let go of your dog. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I think she was chasing a bird, honestly. I think a bird flew by because there was no squirrels. I also did what you're not supposed to do, chase after them. You're supposed to go pursue. However, she was... She was bolting. There's another one. Sit her down. First look doesn't matter. See what happens when you wait till they take off? Okay. Alright. So there, as I was explaining and not paying attention, right? You get the dog. You bring the dog back to where you are. You sit them down. They're going to look at you immediately. You ignore the dog. Right? 
the next look, you sit there and wait and wait and wait until the next look. The first look is, the first look is a what the hell's going on. The second look is what are we doing? You're waiting for a what are we doing because that's when they're looking to you for guidance and direction. Now, she also took off again, right? And you saw when she was facing out, I gave a correction. She came back. I did not reward that. Why did I not reward it? Because she fucking took off. Ow, girl. Now, that's a lot firmer because you're not going to do that shit anymore. You're on a leash. Squirrel. Look, focus. Good. So I was going to get some play out of her, but I'm not now. So I was going to talk about emotional plasticity, which means as soon as you release her, it's okay. It's on to the next one. You see this shit? Prey drive. That was a bad correction. She was already looking at me. So why am I why am I not gonna play with her? Because it's prey drive. And while I would like to build it back through play, end off with some fun with me. It'll keep her in prey drive and she's gonna remember going after all these things. I need her to remember that she was walking with me and focused on me in a calm way when we left. And if I remember, I will never play with her at the end of a session again. It'll be play and then more walk. Now, I have about three to five minutes of a walk home, but I'm going to need the walks to end with a 10 to 15 minute walk. That way, that way she ends on pack drive focused on the person instead of ending on prey drive. The other thing you have to notice is the correction is not leave it. Hey, stop. Come on, cut it out. There's none of that crap. All you're doing is adding energy. You don't need to add energy. The correction is you, the leash, and the dog. You, the leash, and the dog. we got to get out of the prey drive. So I'm going to do figure eights until she's not creating any pressure. On that side. And I probably need to be better slowing my pace down. For all you overly sensitive people out there, they're going to be all like, oh, that dude's so misogynistic, saying women can't handle that. In general, okay, there are women that can. There are women that are uh, stronger than me and can handle that kind of crap. But in general, the, the average pet owner can't handle when this type of dog does that type of behavior. Right? As in, I mean, you saw how I let her run and hit the end of the leash. You saw how it dragged me over. And I'm 160 pounds. I mean, I am old. I'm not quite feeble, but I'm weaker than I used to be. I 
I thought we had it, but I think I paused and it messed it up. It's much lighter though. We're almost there. See where she's looking, right? There's not anything over there. I tell you, there's no squirrels, there's no birds. There is the sound of birds, but nothing is over there. Oh wait, there's a squirrel over here. Never mind. I'm on the edge of correcting that focus. Right? Lock, load, explode. She's focused but was still paying attention. She got so focused that she was about to go that way. I'm gonna correct at that point so she stops thinking she has to go there. There's no redirecting, no food, no toys is gonna to work with that. So this, she stopped moving. I'm gonna start correcting that shit. So when she starts to stop, that's what I'm gonna correct because that's when she's fixing to go take off. Does that make sense? The sooner in the process we can do a correction, you see it's, it's super light when we get it early. I think we're ready because that one was no pressure at all. more time. With that, we're out of here.